At Granada Hills Charter, we're extremely proud, the largest graduating class in our 12 years as an independent charter school with 1,042 candidates for graduation. We're extremely proud of the outstanding academic achievements of all our students and the extraordinary educators who inspire them day in and day out. Granada Hills Charter is represented by a universe of remarkable students, all who distinguish themselves with achievements of many kinds. Some reach their dreams by stepping onto a new, daring stage. Others by exceeding their personal bests, by breaking a record, or by leading their teammates. There are students who've discovered potential they never knew they had, reaching heights they never expected. Outstanding teams who have developed skills and talents and have made discoveries that will change their lives, or years from now could change the lives of others. I salute each and every one of our students. Granada Hills Charter is not simply defined by how our students perform on a test, but how well prepared they are to perform in the test, and that is the test of life. Hello, hi, um, my name is Gina Corpus. Uh, before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and um, if Ms. Hellman and um, Eunice, if you could turn your cameras on. Great, we're here. How oh, are great. you? Okay. Go ahead, Good sorry, afternoon. I guess I can't see on the screen. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Granada Hills Charter High School, eighth grade open house. This is our 20th open house but this is our first virtual open house. We hope you enjoy uh, visiting the sessions this afternoon, and we hope you learn a lot about our school. We will be recording this and posting this on our website for your further review, but we will also have questions and answers open so we can answer the, your questions during um, this initial uh, webinar. And we have other webinars following this that Ms. Corpus will go over. And so now it's my pleasure to introduce Eunice Choi, our ASB president, IB candidate, and athletic, uh, I'm sorry, academic decathlete. Eunice? Hi, thank you. So my name is Eunice Choi, and I'm this year's ASB president. Um, so for this open house, I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to take the opportunity to speak about my own experience as a student here at Granada Hills Charter. Um, so first of all, this school, as you guys may know, we have a large and diverse group of people. We have almost um, 4,800 students around. And that really means that you get to meet a lot of different ideas and activities that maybe you've never thought of before, as well as expand on your own interests, um, as well as you know promote yourself academically. So speaking of activities, I think that Granada has such a broad range of programs and clubs, which is one of our main benefits here at camp on the campus. And um, majority of the students here, they are actively engaged in um, at least one on-campus activity. And like me, they're able to juggle their academic work with these extracurriculars. And um, speaking of myself, <laughs> I've been very uh, actively involved with all, a lot of the programs that we have here at Granada. So um, obviously I've been with ASB and I've been with ASB since freshman year. Um, I've had a leadership position all four years and um, not just including ASB, I've also been a part of the school's debate team since sophomore year. And um, I've been an academic mentor, a link leader here. Um, and then this year, I'm also part of the academic uh, decathlon team. So I'm really involved with different programs here at school and they're, they're really broad. Like um, there's a lot of different interests uh, represented here at our school. So usually if you have a certain interest, you can, you know, find a club or activity that we have here at school, or you can even create your own club. Um, speaking of clubs, we do have a lot of clubs here at Granada. Usually we have around um, 70 when we're on campus. This year it's a little bit off um, because we are online, but when we are um, on campus, we have a variety of clubs that you guys can look at and participate in. And um, 
So speaking of academics, so for me, I think one of the main benefits that Granada provides in terms of academics is the AP and IB classes that we have. Um, I've taken the advantage of doing a lot of AP classes here that Granada provides um, in almost all of the subjects, English, math, science, history, and um, I've taken, I think by this year, I'll have taken 14 AP courses. And um, yes, it is academically stimulating. Um, so it is, it can get a little bit difficult, but the teachers here really work with you to make sure that you understand the material well and that you're able to balance out schoolwork with the extracurriculars that they know a lot of students participate in. And um, the different academic programs that we have at the school are really well, like good for the different interest levels that you have as well. We have like the STEM program as well as the Humanitas um, media program and um, the IB program, which is a two year program that we have starting from junior year, um, as well as the AP Capstone program. So these different programs, um, well, they'll probably get more into it later on um, in this open house, but um, these different programs are a way for students to actively engage in their own specific interest levels um, academically, uh, as well as earn college credit and uh, prepare for their future as college students. Um, so for me, my own program was one that was based, it's similar to the IB program, but it was um, like the similar program right now, but we focused on looking at society in like different lenses and like philosophy. So in our English classes, um, we would stray from doing like generic writing essays, but instead a lot of intellectual discussions and looking at the world today and analyzing literary works that are relevant to the discussion today. So for example, those are, that's just an example of the specific academic programs that we have here at school. Um, so yeah, those, that's just kind of an overview of how my life has been as a Granada Hills Charter High School student and how I've been involved with the school both academically and um, through extracurriculars. Um, yeah. So let me now hand it over to Ms. Corpus. Okay, thank you again. Um, so my name is uh, Mrs. Corpus. I am the administrator over the counseling office. So I'm just going to share a little bit about Granada. Um, uh, just a reminder, there is a Q&A section here. Um, if you have questions, feel free to ask them in the Q&A. Um, and we do have Ms. Hellman and uh, Ms. Lopez and also Ms. and also Eunice uh, available to answer questions. So uh, Granada Hills is an independent public school. Um, we are a charter school, which means that all the decisions are made on our school site. Um, we receive our funding directly from the state and LAUSD is um, our authorizing agent. It is of course a public school, which means there is no tuition or cost associated with attending our school. Um, and again, I did mention we are independent, um, which um, I think is great because we get to make all the decisions on site by teachers, administrators, students, and parents. Um, when making the decision about what school is right for your student, it is important to always look at the mission and vision of the school. Our mission is, uh, is to provide positive student-centered environment where all students will develop the academic skills, practical skills, and attitudes to enable them to be successful, long, long, lifelong learners and productive, responsible citizens in a diverse society. When students graduate from Granada, they'll, they will be effective communicators, problem solvers. They will know how to work collaboratively and respectfully in a linguistically and culturally diverse global community. And most importantly, uh, GHC graduates will be lifelong learners and critical thinkers. I'd like to share with you a little bit about the class of 2020. Um, so Granada has an attendance rate last year of 97%, which really reflects a, the commitment to learning from our student body. In regards to our SBAC scores, Granada students continue to outperform the state and local districts. In 2019, 77% of our students scored proficient or advanced on the SBAC in English, while in math, 55% of our students scored proficient or advanced. In addition to offering rigorous college prep courses, Granada is also committed, committed to ensuring that all students have access to advanced placement coursework. Last year, over 3,603 total AP exams were administered and 79% of these students scored a passing score of three or above. 
talking about our class of 2020, um, of our 1,109 graduates, we had 280 valedictorians, 196 um, students with high honors, 258 students with honors. Um, in addition to that, um, we do have students that are uh, National Merit Scholars and QuestBridge finalists, Poffee finalists. Um, we had 755 students earn a Golden State Diploma and 154 students earn the Seal of Biliteracy from the state. 61% of the class of 2020 earned a GPA of a 3.0 or above. 78% of our seniors in the IB program earned their International Baccalaureate Diploma and 87% of the seniors in the AP Capstone program earned the AP Capstone Diploma. So I'll talk about enrollment. I know that that's why you're all here. Um, so for, for students or parents, for students of parents um, that reside in the pre-charter residential boundary, it's really important that you are aware that there's no automatic enrollment. Unfortunately, we do not receive your information from the middle schools. If you plan on enrolling, um, we definitely recommend that you go to our website and you will need to fill out the application. Applications for pre-charter residents will be available on Monday. So this Monday, October 26th, the application will be up and you should be able to apply. Um, if you are needing additional assistance or have additional questions, you can drop in into the enrollment drop um, enrollment room that we have uh, available. We do have um, uh, enrollment specialists in there able to answer your questions. Um, but again, most of the information should be on our website and the application will be available on uh, October 26th, which is this Monday. If you are looking to um, uh, start at Granada as an open enrollment student. Um, our open enrollment lottery will be open on our website on November 3rd, um, and it will go until December 17th. The lottery drawing is going to be on Friday, January 8th, 2021. Um, again, please make sure that you check out our website. It will be, again, available as of November 3rd. Um, and then it will go on until December 17th is the deadline. Um, it doesn't matter if you fill out the form on November 3rd or if you fill it out on December 17th, um, you will still have the same uh, chance of getting into the lottery that will be uh, scheduled on Friday, January 8th. So I'd like to talk a little bit about some of our extracurricular activities and talk to you a little bit more about Granada. Um, so in addition to um, some of the academics that Granada offers, that we do offer a good range of extracurricular activities. Our athletics department collectively has over 800 students participating in over 14 different sports. Outside of athletics, Granada has over 16 clubs, 60 clubs on campus from design, art, gaming, anime, music, science, um, and other special interests. Students have the opportunity to create a club if they don't find one, um, really that piques their interest. So uh, we do have students that every year will, will decide to create a club that works for them. We also offer several career technical education programs, CTEs. So these are programs that provide students with a multi-year sequence of courses that integrates core academic knowledge with technical and occupational knowledge to provide students with a pathway to post-secondary education and careers. Some of our CTE pathways can be completed through the student academic programs of choice. And so I'll be talking about those um, a little later, but we do have some of our academic programs that have CTE pathways embedded in them. Um, in addition to academics, as well as extracurricular, we do uh, offer many opportunities for students to compete in academic competitions and showcase their artistic talents through various academic and performance teams. Uh, we definitely encourage you to check out the clubs and activities uh, drop-in rooms that are going to be, um, I will share that information with you um, as we get to, to the end of our presentation. I do want to mention that some of the clubs that are planning to be here today are, is the softball team, girls basketball, equestrian team, we have DECA, robotics, choir, I believe dance team, GSA, our Black Student Union, and our Link Crew and our PTSA. So please make sure to take some time and stop by and say hi. Um, but of course, uh, that is only just a small number of many of the of the different types of activities that we offer our students at Granada. So um, because of our commitment to supporting students in all aspects of their learning, Granada has made it a priority to ensure that we have a wide array of academic and social emotional support services. Uh, we offer parent workshops, counseling groups, peer support groups, uh, grade level college and career presentations for students and parents, 
Uh, we also have mental health and physical health presentations by our social workers and nurses. So uh, we do really have a large team here on campus to support our students outside of the classroom. Educational enrichment and support. Uh, we are lucky to have a partnership with Pierce College. We offer Pierce College classes on campus, um, both in the fall and spring semester. Um, and for our ninth graders, we usually recommend they wait until spring semester to take these courses just um, because we'd like them to kind of get acclimated to our campus in the fall. Um, and then in terms of accelerated courses, this is something that the college can that your school counselor will talk to you if you decide to come to Granada. Uh, we do have students that are able to accelerate in math over the summer. This year we had students accelerate both in algebra one and geometry. And so if they took algebra one over the summer, they were they were able to start in the fall um, taking geometry. Um, pre calculus we were not able to offer this summer, but it is something that we are planning to offer in the future. Um, of course, we because of our academics, we do offer a wide range of free tutoring services before and after school. Um, we have a, a actual online tutoring that's being offered um, actually 24 seven now. It's a it's a service that all of our students are able to access. I'll talk a little bit uh, um, about our summer transition. Um, so when a student just makes a decision to attend Granada, uh, they are required to attend uh, our STA, our Summer Transition Academy. It is a graduation requirement. So for the class of 2025, the dates of STA are July 6th through July 24th, uh, 2021. STA is an opportunity for students to learn about um, our school culture, um, to learn about our instructional practices, and also it's a time where students will complete the registration and receive their Chromebooks. So this really ensures that students have a smooth transition when they start in the fall. So I'll share a really quick video about our summer transition. Welcome to Granada Hills Charter High School. You are now a Highlander. Over the past 55 years, some of the brightest minds and gifted athletes have also been Highlanders. Renata Hills Charter High School has been ranked California's top public school in the state, and we've won the National Academic Decathlon repeatedly to show for it. You are among the best. Our teachers are dedicated to creating classroom environments that allow you to thrive. Participating in the daily classroom experience is vital to flourishing. We also want you to live in color and participate in peer groups that cultivate friendships. Granada Hills Charter High School offers around 60 activities, clubs, and sports teams. Each is an opportunity for you to get to know your peers, gain lifelong skills, and build the confidence you need to launch into life. All of this begins now. By attending the Summer Transition Academy, you will be completely prepared to start on the first day of school. You will have your locker, registration package, PE clothes, photo ID. You will also have the chance to make new friends, meet your teachers, and get a taste of school spirit. So how do things work? Well, you'll find out when you come to STA. All right, so that's just a little bit about our STA program. So now we'll dive in into our academic programs. Um, so students that are starting in starting Granada in grade nine have access to several academic programs. Um, one of them is our traditional Granada guaranteed curriculum, our IB 910 program, our Humanitas program, and our iGranada program, as well as our STEM program. Um, and so we do have representatives, um, coordinators, and counselors for every single one of those programs here. Um, and I will show you how to access them, um, their rooms at the end of our presentation so you can hear from them directly. So a little bit about the, uh, the Granada Guaranteed Curriculum Program, it, is, it does offer a rigorous A through G curriculum that allows students to access, um, access to a wide range of courses with, within all subject areas. Students can choose to focus um, based on personal interests in the following areas such as math and science, humanities, arts, social and behavior sciences, business and economics. This program provides the maximum flexibility for all electives, sports, and extracurricular activities. We have about 65% of students that choose the Granada Guaranteed Curriculum. 
We also have our IB grade 910 program. Um, students that um, are interested in this, this program pursue a rigorous international and service oriented curriculum that is well balanced with a focus on STEM, the humanities, um, languages, service work, and public speaking. Uh, students complete a self-directed culminating IB community project and, a, and an externally assessed IB per, uh, personal project. Uh, the IB Grade 910 program also provides students with the foundation for success in the GHC IB Diploma program that begins in um, the Grade 11. We also have our Humanitas program. Um, this is actually one of our longest, um, the longest program we've had on our campus. Um, it, is an, it, it is a program for students um, that will continue in the program from grades 9 to 12. Um, it offers a rigorous college prep curricul curriculum that stresses critical reading, writing, and thinking skills in a project-based um, interdisciplinary team-taught approach. Um, what this means is that um, these students are cohorted in classes. They usually remain in their same cohorts from the beginning of ninth grade into their senior year. Um, this is really for students that have an interest in fine arts, digital media, film production, um, and are comfortable working in a collaborative uh, setting um, environment. So, um, you know, this is, uh, we definitely encourage you to visit the Humanitas program to learn more about their program. We also have iGranada. So iGranada is a blended learning program that incorporates both online learning and face-to-face -face instruction, allowing for full flexibility of student programs and student support. So this is our, our traditionally virtual or online learning program that we've offered here at Granada. Um, they will also be having a room for you to, to get more information. We also have our STEM program here. So our STEM program is considered a clustered program on our campus. Um, the focus is, is in is a uh, the focus of the program is a inter integrative approach to science, math, and technology and engineering that allows for real world application and STEM career readiness. Students in the STEM program are expected to take four years of foundational science and math courses that do go beyond our traditional graduation requirements. Um, also, a new program that we have on um, that we are going to be focused or um, highlighting today is going to be our health science and medical technology. Um, C it's a CTE pathway. It's a new program that was we just introduced last year. It prepares students for careers in the health sciences by providing a strong background in biology, biotechnology, applied chemistry, and health sciences. Um, the program is rooted in a culturally responsive teaching and uh, meeting the, seats, the needs of all learners. Um, so um, this, is, this is mainly a CTE pathway that explores several, care several careers within the health sciences. Um, we will also be featuring our 10th grade um, GBF program. It's our Global Business and Finance program. So after students complete their ninth grade year, they have the opportunity to opt in into the GBF program. Uh, the GBF program offers a rigorous A through G curriculum with an emphasis um, in business and finance, money management and investments. So students that have a high interest in business and finance will normally choose to join B GBF in their 10th grade year. Um, if you are a ninth grader uh, interested in business, uh, we recommend that when you meet with your counselor, you choose introduction to business as your uh, ninth grade elective. I did want to just make sure I mentioned that um, regardless of the academic program that you choose, all academic programs provide access to AP courses, IB courses, honors courses, and our traditional college prep courses. Um, so regardless of the program you choose, you will have access to any of these, um, any of these courses. You'll also have access to um, uh, eighth grade programs of choice, such as our IB program or our AP capstone diploma program. So again, um, students can come in and choose a different academic program and then decide that they want to participate in IB in their junior year or they want to participate in the AP capstone program in their junior year. For our students with disabilities, uh, I just want to make sure we uh, also have a room representative. Um, our special education coordinator is, is hosting a room in case you wanted to get more information about um, for our students with disabilities. But I did just want to say that we all we serve all of our students um, in all of the academic programs with a variety of supports related to services or um, in specially designed instructional programs such as 
resource, special day classes, co-taught, uh, differentiated skills classes, DHH program, severe, moderate, or mild. Um, SDP2 program. So again, if you are interested, please check out the virtual room so you can speak to our special education coordinator or if you have any questions. I did want to share um, just one thing before I let you guys go and give uh, further instructions, just some, um, some of the feedback that we've gotten recently for some of our uh, POSIP survey that we sent out. Um, so give me. So uh, I've now reached the end of my presentation. I did want to, um, most of you should have received an email already with this information that has a event schedule. So the main presentation was mine, of course, um, but we do have academic sessions that are going to be starting, um, I believe, uh, in the afternoon at 1.31. They are going to be, we do have um, STEM presenting our iGranada program. Um, this gives you the opportunity to, to attend at least four sessions. Um, as, and as I mentioned before, we also have special programs and um, enrollment. So if you have enrollment questions, please make sure you stop by and um, ask, ask them and see if they can provide you with additional information. You should have also received an email um, with a virtual folder attachment. It would have been either in the confirmation email that you received for the webinar um, or uh, a separate email that was sent out today. Um, and as well with a link to our clubs and activities. I really want to encourage you to visit our clubs and activities. Um, you know, we have students there. Um, we have the, uh, teach, uh, some of the coordinators of the program of the different clubs and activities, and I'm sure they would be excited to talk to you. I uh, just want to make sure you guys are aware we are going to close all the rooms at three. Um, if you do need any assistance or have questions, you can call 818-360-2361, extension zero, if you have any trouble getting into any of the sessions. Um, I just wanted to, this was the email that should have been sent out today that has the information of um, how to access the sessions. It also has the, the previous page on here with the academic program sessions. And you should be able to just click on the on the sessions and it'll take you directly to them. Um, one additional thing, if you, this original email, this email that was sent out earlier today also has information on access on how to access the eighth grade virtual folder. So this is where you're gonna see a flyer for our enrollment process, our pre-charter boundary for our enrollment process for both lottery and pre-charter boundary students. If you did not receive the this folder, feel free to um, give us a call and we will share that information with you. Um, so if you didn't get this email, uh, there's also another way to access our sessions would be by the reminder email that was sent out earlier today should have a link. Uh, but I believe this email was sent out today as well. So um, the session should be starting, at, I believe, at uh, 1.31, but we will be here to answer, uh, again, through the Q&A, any additional questions you may have. Um, and so I am going to end my presentation. Thank you so much for coming. Um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of our uh, virtual first virtual open house. 
Um, thank you again, those of you that are still here for coming. Um, I hope that you learned a lot about our campus and our school and what we have to offer. Um, and uh, have a great afternoon. Thank you.